Pythagorean theorem. We're gonna go through three problems here, looking at how to do Pythagorean theorem. And the main things that we wanna know here is first of all, it has to be a right triangle. It can't just be any old triangle, right? It has to be a right triangle. And given that, we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, so let's take a look at what that might look like. All right, so if we have this right triangle here, all right, let's see that, signify right, six, eight, and C, all right? So then it'll say, find C. This long leg, what we have here for C, this will be referred to as the hypotenuse, all right? So in terms of solving something like this, six, eight, and C, we have six squared plus eight squared equals C squared, remember it, right? We're just going A squared, which is B squared, equals C squared, right? Six squared plus eight squared equals C squared. All right, so what do we have now? Six squared is 36, plus eight squared is 64, equals C squared. These two add up to 100, equals C squared. And then we got to square root it, and we will have C equals 10. That's the answer over here, 10. All right, that's the first one. Not too bad. They don't always work out quite that nicely. Let's look at the second one. All right, same thing. We've got our right triangle, eight, 10, and C. All right, so then we're gonna set up the same exact thing, right? We're just gonna go square this, square this, eight squared plus 10 squared has to equal C squared, given that it's a right triangle, right? So eight squared plus 10 squared equals C squared, right? And we gotta square these, 64 plus 100 equals C squared, 164 equals C squared, and then it's square root, right? So unfortunately that one doesn't work out quite as nicely, and we'll just get C equals square root 164. Now, they might give you that answer choice, but they might also say in the answer choices is most nearly 12 or 13 or 10, and give you a bunch of answer choices that are whole numbers, even though this doesn't end up in a whole number. So given that, we, it would be nice if we knew that the square root of 144 was 12. 12 times 12 is 144 and that the square root of 169 was 13, right? 13 times 13 is 169. And if we knew that, then we would know that this answer was probably like 12.8 or 12.9, so if we were rounding, was most nearly 13. Okay, one more, one more. Okay. Final one, what if they give you the hypotenuse and one of the sides, but not one of their sides, do we know how to solve that? Could easily get one of those, right? So that would be something like 15 here, nine here, B here, okay? How do we go solve one of this problem? Same thing, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This time we just happen to know C rather than the other two times we knew A and B, right? So we have nine squared plus B squared equals 15 squared, which is 225. Okay, uh, what got a little ahead of myself, I should have said 15 squared. Now we have 81 plus B squared equals 225, All right? Now we need to subtract 81 from both sides, subtract 81 from both sides, and then we end up with B squared equals 125, 144, and then we need to do square root of 144. We just gave that answer away a second ago. B equals 12. 